Hello everyone. <coughs> Welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you the um, the Windows Defender ATP process and how to sync or how to set up your on-prem devices or computers to shows up in the uh, Windows Defender ATP um, center. So what you need to do is to use Windows ATP or Windows Defender ATP, you must have um, M365 license or E5 license to access the console or the portal. You need to go into um, it is called Windows Defender. So you have to go into security center dot windows dot com. This is the uh, the portal or the the um, Office three sixty five Windows Defender portal. You need to go here. If you if it's going to be the first time you log in, you probably have to go through the process of setting it up. In my case, I already set up the um, the tenants. Once I log in, uh, once I go in here, it's automatically log in for me. So here's the um, the first uh, the dashboard of the Office 365, um, the Windows Defender ATP. And if you look at active alerts, currently I have one active alert, and so if I want to know what it is, I probably it's I can click on it and it tells me that it has suspicious PowerShell command line running on my Windows 10 um, machine. So it is the the computer name here. It's called it's a su su suspicious activity and it's run by a user. Hansen. Last activity was 10 25th at 12 37 p.m. So if I go back to the dashboard and if I look at the secure score, currently my score is 525 out of 1466. It is not that great, but in order to bring it up, you have to go through all these. The uh, you have to install the antivirus, OS security updates need to be installed, exploited gall needs to be enabled. So all these uh, needs to be enabled or configured if you wanted to get the um, the high score for the Microsoft security score. As you can see here, it has the top recommendations. OS secure updates. If you start a later, they give you 75 points. Firewalls, 34 points. Just information you can read. Um, so we were at the security operation and active alerts. So I have one alerts. Threat analysis. It's all the threat analysis. You can go through and understand it. Incidents, you can configure the two um, for the Windows Defender ATP automatically created incidents. If there's any suspicious or alert, it will automatically create an incident for you. For in this case, I enabled it. That's why I created it created an incident for me. I click on it. Assign to. So you can assign it to anybody you want to assign to. So currently assigned to, you can click on assign to me if you want to assign to yourself. Um, so that's the incident. Machine list. Machine list is list all the machine that sync from your on-prem active directory. <coughs> um, I configure the 
all the machine on my on-premise Active Directory to sync to uh, Windows Defender ATP. I'm going to show you how to do that in the in a few minutes. And if you look at the queue, alert queue, I have one. So automated investigation. So you can configure automated investigations. Currently, I don't have that configured. Pending actions. There's no pending action. Advanced hunting. It's um, it's very robust uh, tools that you can configure. It's let you um, identify, and investigate breach activity with power with powerful custom queries. So you're gonna run some queries when I play with it. Service health is the health of your Windows ATP services. Settings. So I, by default, it sets to 30 days, but in this case, I set it to 180 days for data retentions. How far I want to keep my the data. Um, the data storage is US. Once you choose the location you cannot change it so when you first set up your windows atp console or tenant it's going to ask you what data storage location you want to use so make sure you choose the right one so there's a setting for everything here alert notification you can configure Power BI, secure score, you can um, turn it off if you want for the, like the defense application guard, defense exploit guard, if you're not going to use that, I would just turn it off, with locker, Windows Defender Credential Guard, I'm going to turn that off too, click on save. Advanced features. Here's some in, um, information you can uh, enable and disable in the advanced feature. Roles. You can enable different roles. P machine group permissions. API. You can integrate um, Intel API or CMN API. So the really thing that I want to show you is to um, deploy machines from on-prems to your Windows Defender ATP. I will click on Machine Management and then click on Onboarding. There's uh, different options here. So I'm going to choose Windows 10. I'm going to download it once I choose Windows 10. I'm going to, uh, second step is download the package. So the package has been downloaded. Let's open it up. I'm going to extract this. This is new. Let's see what it is. I just looks like it was just created today, eight twenty-five. All right. So what I need to do is um, copy this and put it on my configuration manager share.
this is the uh, old one I created. As you can see, it didn't have the um, the, the CMD file. So let's create a configuration manager deployment. I'm going to copy this location and then go into configuration manager. Under asset and compliance, there's a endpoint protection, and under endpoint protection, there's Windows Defender AT, uh, ATP policy. We just right click, create. Go and call it test WD ATP for Windows 10. So the option here policy type is onboarding. So if you want to remove from ATP, you need to do offboarding with the second option here. Configuration file. I'm going to paste that in. Click on that. Let's automatically populate the organization ID. Click next. Specify which files sample or share for analysis by the defender. I'm going to put all type. Telemetry reporting. Let's put normal. Next. And next. That's it. The second or the next step is to deploy to your Windows 10 machine. Which is right look at the deployment is nothing. Which is right click and deploy. I don't have um, a Windows 10 uh, collection, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna push to all desktop and server clients. So, hmm, that was quick. It didn't even ask me to. I thought it. I thought it should ask you to configure the time. I guess not. So that's it. That's how you configure Windows ATP for your Windows desktop and laptops in your on-prem environment to sync to Windows ATP console. Oops, let's see here. Oh, Windows um, ATP is Security Center. So once you do that, when the machine is checked in, you should see all machine listed here. All your on-premise Windows 10 machine listed here. That's it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.